Oh, oh boy. Set that camera up for about an hour and a half. I love porgs. And get a stick and get get a stick out for me to hit Wade with. We'll have to, I love porgs. We'll have to keep it to a to a double. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, we're gonna have let's put a timer on this one. Oh, let's, do, uh, let's do fifteen minutes max. <laughs> I um so all right, so let's get to the, the porg in the room. Uh, oh. and, and go to <laughs> in the porg in the room. I now want to get you, Joe. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Let's, let's, let's go to Last Jedi. So uh, um, it almost it almost pains me to have to turn the discussion to this. Oh. Um, being the I mean everybody in the, the group knows that I was eight years old when I saw Star Wars <laughs> in a theater and that shows my age, yes. Uh, and, and far, far and, away. And it was in Hazleton, the galaxy far, far away, yes. A I theater mean, that's no longer there. It's a Chinese buffet. So it was far, far wow. away. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so I, let's, yeah, let's talk about Last Jedi. Um, I'll just go really quick here. Last Jedi was, it, it took me, it took me two, two times to see it. I, the first time I saw it um, was with, was with him. But I, the, first, <laughs> the first, the first time I saw it was with, and I, I, I came out of it with, what was that? I don't really, a bad date, I don't know. Bad dates. Yeah. <laughs> like I stood him Why up or something. You know? <laughs> He's spinning my popcorn. No, I died. Um, but I, uh, I, I didn't know what to feel at the end of the movie. And it disappointed me in the fact that that, that happened because I went in with the expectations up here. Um, because of Force Awakens, and yeah. because I like Force Awakens so much, okay. and I and and then obviously, and then Rogue One came out, and I like Rogue One a lot as well, and I so, and then I was gonna, I knew the movie was about Luke, um, and I also pat myself on the back because I did not spoil this one for myself. Captain I said I'm not gonna <laughs> spoil this one for myself. I was not gonna look stuff up and find information, and I really didn't. I, I saw a couple things, but they did a pretty good job of hiding a lot of it. Um, so I went in with, with that, and then after it was over, I just didn't know what, I, I couldn't really formulate an opinion. Now, luckily, I, yeah, yeah, luckily now I went to see it the very next day. So I saw it within a span of 12 hours, twice, <laughs> because I went the next morning at 8.30 in IMAX, because we couldn't get tickets to any other shows. Um, and now after I came out of that one, I realized that. I liked the movie. I was able to delve into it a little bit more. I didn't love it. Um, I, I didn't, I'm not going to go where I loved it, like Force Awakens or Rogue One, but I liked it more when I saw it the second time. And it's funny because a lot of the people in the group that I talked to um, felt the same way after they saw it a second time. So, I saw it the first time. I loved it. I had, I mean, there was some, oh, it, it, every film little issues. so weird, by the way. That you loved it like right off the bat, but you weren't a big, huge fan of. Force well, that is, it, 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 it is. I do it like is, Force Awakens. Yeah. I didn't love it because right. yep. the the and carbon you, copy references. Right. Yeah. I walked out. I walked out. Of that was. We, I had a blast. I I love what they did with Skywalker. I I didn't have the hate for it. That a lot of people did. I had no problem with the new Force powers, so to speak. I love the freaking ports. <laughs> I will say that time and time again. <laughs> I go. They, they're my new Ewoks, but. The only, the, my only real complaints is Phasma's become the new Boba Fett. She didn't do a damn thing, but they're right. hyping her before the films going on. Captain Phasma, you look at me like you didn't know how to say that. I have no idea what was going on. Yeah. Captain oh, Phasma, the game, the game of Thrones actress. The Silver Shepherd, Silver Shepherd, the Silver Shepherd. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. And that's the yeah. issue. They, they pumped her before all the films to make her as big character. That's what they're going to do to turn her into Boba Fett. They, pretty much. She wow. hasn't done a damn thing. Yeah. She's, she's had a couple lines and then she's gone. They threw in the trash compactor, then they threw her off a thing. She's done nothing, yeah, but they tried trying to pump her up. But overall, I love him. I love the film Poor feeling job. happy. I, didn't pick up on that. <laughs> <laughs> I love the film feeling happy. I enjoyed it. Um, th- I mean, I, I was a little a little awkward with that the, the Leia float. But other the than Mary that, Poppins in space. Yeah. Yes. Other than that, I do did it better. Yeah. yeah. I, I agree. I agree. <laughs> but I had I had no issues other than that. I, I really enjoyed the film. I, I was happy they took. I was. All, I mean, I can see. I think, like you said, people had expectations. They went into the thing and they're going to find out who Ray's parents are. They go, "Oh, his back is on the snow," and mm-hmm. they didn't do what you thought anything was going to do. And I think that's where the animosity came from. Um, yeah, 
animosity comes from a large number of places, in my opinion. Uh, I left the theater very much in a state of what happened. The, you're talking about a series that, that followed a specific character, more or less. It followed Luke Skywalker and his his band of heroes and friends, and now they've taken that away. I went with a friend of mine, uh, Eddie Semperak, who is a member of the group as well, uh, and he went, well, I guess I don't have to see the next film because Luke's gone. they had gotten rid of Luke, and I question the timing of it. It's not that I don't expect it to happen. I question the timing of doing it. I thought it would be the last yeah. one. The next one, yeah, I did too. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I'm, maybe they were trying to get away from the carbon copy stuff that were we've commented on in the past, like, you know, um, how it would be very much, you know, a mirror of uh, Return of the Jedi if Luke goes and, you know, I, I can see that. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, but I think it was, I think it was a questionable move to do it at this juncture in time. Because um, it takes like 75% of your audience out. I, I, him and I were just talking about that a few days ago because we, we got into a discussion about the toy line and, and about how toys really didn't sell this year mm. from it. But we were talking about that too, and I said, and you had said, well, let's see how. Apparently. Let's to Shane and I anyway. Let's, but let's let's see how this now, now. Let's see how the next one does. And you were just saying, well, let's see how the toys do when JJ takes over the next one. And then I said to you, yeah, but all the classic all characters, characters are gone. Are Except for C three PO R two D two and Chewbacca, so which it, might it's, not even really. It, it, so it, it's yeah. I mean, it's 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 going to be, it's going to be interesting to see. And I hope there was a lot of backlash. There was a ton of backlash well, between the Rotten Tomatoes stuff and just between well, overall. You're talking there, about a series that that is endeared so to a great many people. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, and yeah. beloved by so many that you know if you're going to take. Some drastic turns, you're going to upset people. Mm -hmm. um, much like I did not enjoy The Force Awakens as much as you did. I actually thought it was kind of a bust for me. I was very taken out of the story after that. But I, you know, some of the things you expected to happen, like Han's death and. Spoiler! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Han died, by the way. My first two years ago. I've had plenty of things spoiled for me today, and I know. Oh. <laughs> because I'm not going to see most of these. Movies. If you haven't seen Force Awakens yet, just leave the group. Yeah, just go <laughs> Joe's banned you. Uh, no, that's her not her. band. Yeah. yeah. I, well, we had we were talking about it before, mm -hmm. and hopefully we didn't already say everything earlier. But I don't think it was much. Like one of the things I kind of disliked was if you didn't like the movie and you questioned it, you were a hater. Yeah, that's that, not fair. that one of that's one of the new social media gripes that I have with. If you don't agree with it, you just hate it, which yeah. isn't completely true. That said, um, not just as like a Star Wars fan, but just as like an overall movie perspective, you're watching a story go from A to Z. Force Awakens, what I thought was cool, even though that they may have rehashed some of the stuff to use as a tool to go through it and introduce new characters, was is that. How many different conversations and topics at the end of Force Awakens did we just streamline through the group? Snoke, who's raised parents, etc., etc., etc. Right? We're all wondering 55 different questions about what's going to happen next. Yeah. With Flash Jedi comes out, and the only thing we're you know, Kevin Smith's podcast had a huge elaborate thing. I did not watch it all. I only caught the first one thing but it really really grabbed me was is that when you're doing a movie and you're building the story to the next one you just don't discard everything that the person before you just worked for yeah like Kevin you know, Smith referred to it as FU JJ moments right yeah. that's that basically so he just yeah. took it and said like he, he compared a few things he had he took Kylo Ren's helmet which was the biggest selling costume of that year and, and smashed it, it. Yeah. and just like okay FU JJ and then he and there's this whole and the Snoke Snoke you know, everybody has all these Snoke theories wearing t-shirts about Snoke ah he's dead so, so yeah it was I actually kind of enjoyed the way Snoke went out I was, I was, was cool with, with was I was cool scene. with with how it happened, it happened. The small thing I thought was. <laughs> He's not dead. Uh, he force projected himself I'm into the funny. chair. He's not dead. And Keanu Reeves is not John Wick. He's in the Matrix. Here we go. Oh my. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Captain Tangent. <laughs> so, the. For everything that was built up through the movies, you had 55 questions. You wanted to know what happened next. I did not. 
Like, I didn't think Force Awakens was the strongest Star Wars movie ever. It was good, but I didn't have it at the top. At the end of the movie, when Rey gets to the uh, island, and she makes the epic little climb to it, and John Williams' music's playing, you're just like, oh my god, it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And she runs into Luke, and you don't know what the expression is. She and works. There is porks. <laughs> yeah, a lot of pork loving. But everybody thought it was great, or the, the lovers of the movie thought it was great that she just took the lightsaber chalk set over the shoulder and made it into a comedy. The thing you just did was ruin that build up tension moment. If you watch those consecutively, well, I see that. I you see absolutely that. just stepped on the throat of well, that, is, that moment. There is a, there's a video out there of uh, Mark Hamill emphatically oh, disagree yeah, with he, every choice yeah. that the director had made for his character. Mm -hmm. And he's very adamant and open about it. And, and mm -hmm. in a lot of ways, I agree with him. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think that a lot of the choices they made for Luke were great choices. Uh, they took a very optimistic character and crushed him. Mm -hmm. They took him from, mm -hmm. you know, here was the, the hopefulness of the Jedi Order and Right. You're, you're essentially flipping the character right. that you've known for so many movies mm -hmm. upside down, made it complete opposite. Yeah, I, I would have been okay <laughs> with a little bit of like resistance to it. Right. It was just so much great, until the right. very last Someone, second. He went from one extreme to the other. Right. Mm -hmm. Someone Too pointed out this great, this great point that Yoda, Obi-Wan, and Luke all did the same thing. They were up high on their horse, got knocked down, they all went in the hiding. That's all the, three that's of them. One of the Jedi. Yeah. And that's, that's yeah. a Jedi. And I'm like, wow, I didn't think about that until someone said, like, holy shit. Right. Oh, um, it's yeah. Oh, there's so much to say. I was a little time <laughs> to say it, but no. Um, but no, uh, no, no. Uh, to, um, to piggy bank on, on what you were saying and what we talked about earlier. Um, um, I know one of my biggest issues with the film is that you know it. It you know there were there were seeds in the Force Awakens. I did personally love the Force Awakens. I thought it was great. I know I rehashed some stuff from A New Hope, but it's supposed to be poetic. You know, George Lucas even said that. I'm not sure if it's good to quote him on that, but <laughs> you know, it is supposed to. to you, you know, there's supposed to be a rhyme to it. And um, I was excited for where The Force Awakens would go. Like, I was intrigued by the stuff with Ray's parents. I wasn't as intrigued as stuff with Snoke, but I definitely had questions about him. Um, and then, you know, you go, you go into um, The Last Jedi, you know, there are, there are these story threads that The Force Awakens set up very carefully. And, you know, it, it was just like Ryan Johnson was like, well, it's my movie now. I'm just going to yeah. discard them. I'm yeah. not going to continue them. You know, so, I mean, you know, Snoke dies, I love, or the, the scene in which he died was a great scene, and yeah. the fight that comes after it is a fantastic that fight. Was a, that was the big that fight was, in that movie. That was yeah. probably the best yeah. scene in the movie, but then you have to ask yourself, you know, <laughs> did it really change for, for Kylo Ren and Rey? I mean, they were, you know, like, a part of the beginning of the movie, they're still a part at the end of the movie, so I'm not, as much as I love the fighting scene, I'm not sure if it really has payoff right. to it. The, I think that what the grand epic of Star Wars is that after every single movie, regardless of if you liked them or not, everyone had questions after that particular movie. It set up the next thing, and it doesn't spoil it. You just, you're like, oh, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next right. after every single movie? Especially after Force Awakens, since it's been ages before we finally got a Star Wars movie that we actually enjoyed and loved because of the prequels, that the thing I thought about after I got done with Last Jedi is, is that I don't have any questions. It's a pre yeah. I have nothing. Like, they're basically starting from zero that, well, we're just going to rebuild the rebellion from zero. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no build up. Like, I don't have any questions right now. I, I can't think I think of. I'm just waiting. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's like, like, well, I don't know point. what to think of. Yeah. Force Awakens, I spent way too much time probably on chat trying to figure out. Who's this? And I played the game. I actually enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. I even went as far as the Mon Mothma garbage <laughs> just because it was fun. And after Last Jedi, I'm just like, well, I, I got nothing. Like, I don't yeah. know. There, like, eh, there is okay, a lot. Cool. There's a lot of stuff flying around. And, and some of it, what's real and what's not, is hard to distinguish about what's going to happen and what's going on. Um, Ryan Johnson's in a Twitter war with a lot of fans yeah. because the poor guy is well, getting crucified on his Twitter account. But I mean, he was, he feels the need to go and and like defend himself in certain aspects. So like he pulled out he pulled out the, the just the latest one was he pulled out their 
a few years back there came out uh, books. There was a Jedi manual and a Sith manual. I have a Sith one. It comes out of a big uh, Sith holocron, which yeah, is kind of neat. Cool. Automatically, yeah. But he pulled out the Jedi manual that came out years ago, which was technically made non-canon when they made all that stuff non-canon anymore. Yeah. He pulled that out and he pulled out an excerpt of Force Projection. So there's the power right in front of you because somebody would say, well, where did this come from? You know, well, to me, those I don't, think and he said, but I don't even think it has it, to be questioned. I, I think it, it's just to be able to be a part I think, of what you want it to be. I think, and this came out recently too, he talked about how they left Carrie Fisher's stuff alone. I think had she not died, the movie would have been different. And the you reason the reason I think that is because there there was talk that 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 this movie was supposed to be Luke's movie, the next movie was supposed to be Leia's movie. Now they can't do that. Everything has to switch. You've got to get rid of everything. But, I mean, what I don't agree with is a, is a lot of the stuff that he did. There there was talk now saying, too, that that whole space Leia thing wasn't even supposed to be in the film. They are going to cut it. And the reason they left it was in tribute to her because they didn't want to cut her roles at all. They wanted okay. to leave all her yeah, stuff in there. That. So uh, what I'm wondering is now is, you know, now there, now you're going to have to do almost some. I would have loved to see it, and I've said this, too. The, the, the whole though part where she destroys all the ships... That would have been a perfect way for Leia to go out. Yes. Yeah. Oh, had so Leia been on that ship, and, yeah. Yeah. that would have been perfect for her. And, she, and you know what? If she was still alive, she would have liked the scene like that. Because yeah. that's Leia's she mentality. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. right. That's, that's Leia's mentality. And that would have been a perfect way for her to go out. And, and, and then you have well, Luke. Could have done... And then, and then you don't, kill, you out, don't yeah. kill Luke. You don't kill Luke. You have Luke go into the it's next film. Skywalker. Yeah, you have him. You have him end up being the focus of the of the last one, and that. So I, that's why I said I. I again, it's more like I said before about about some of the other films we talked about, but it's just behind the scenes stuff, and you just wonder how much of it was, you know. Well, at, from the standpoint, we we should accept what they gave us is what they gave us. I mean, do we can't change? That. Yeah. Well, no. Yeah, it is what it is. There's like, I read this. Yeah, I read this crazy yeah. thing. Petition to remove it from canon. About the petition. Change.org. Let's all sign up. Let, if you don't, it's a story. You don't like it? Don't, don't listen to it. Watch, don't watch it. Yeah. Or I just, something else. I just think it's a Pick really extremely new. difficult position for the movie to go in on a blank slate with no momentum. Yeah. And story wise, I agree. Yeah. It's yeah, almost you're gonna like end, starting fresh you're gonna, you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna end the Skywalker saga, which is sort of already over now. It's over anyway. It's over anyway, but then you also need to resolve the trilogy of Kylo and Rey, oh, yeah. which has no more momentum. It's mm -hmm. it's back to square one. Somehow it's gonna end in this third movie, I and feel there's bad. nothing pushing behind it. I almost That's feel bad movie. for J.J. and the writer that he's got with him, because yeah. they are going to, it's gonna be very tough for them not to do fan service now and that's a shame because you it's almost like is he going to be forced into a wall now not only by himself but by and by fans but by kathy kennedy because there's been rumors too that she doesn't like all the stuff that's going on with this and there are there are also rumors saying that they may put out a graphic novel comic to start to explain some of the backstory that you, you can't didn't get in Last Jedi, yeah. like not, so not it's the movies, the books. correct. Yeah. So um, it's silly to do that, and like but so so JJ's got his hands full. I yeah. don't, I don't, be, you know, I, that's really going to be tough, and especially in two. I'm sure they're going to have some kind of time jump. You get, you're almost going to have to. You're well, going to have to do it. They yeah. in the next movie five minutes after the other yeah, one. Well, you, yeah. no, but you, yeah. you, there's no way they can do that from Last Jedi to this no, one. No. You can't. You're going to have to have a time jump. And in probably in the opening crawl is where they're going to explain how Leia died. Yeah. Which is, is actually pretty sad to say because yeah. that's anticlimactic on its own. Well, unless they CGI or, yeah. or something. But, but I think yeah. they said yeah. they, they were going to CGI or, yeah. Yeah. Doing it. yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, it's, it's just like, it's, it's just weird. It's very weird the way things turn out because, like you said, with Carrie Fisher's death, I mean, I can understand them wanting to leave this movie the same to pay tribute to her, but they're really going to pick one out. Um, yeah. They had outs. They had her space, her spacewalk. Mm -hmm. They had, they could have. That's what I respect. Yeah. Yeah. Three elements. Maybe that. At least you could have trained her right yeah. out of it. And exactly. Yeah. And what you said about switching her with Holdo, when I was watching the movie, I was even thinking, like, I kind of feel like Leia Why wouldn't necessarily let Holdo do this. Doesn't yeah. that seem more like a Leia move to be like, you know yeah. what? Let me, let me do this. Yeah. I've, run, to, I've done my time. Yeah. Like, right. Let me go out big. Yeah. And right. I don't know what they would have had to done, probably use CGI to fix the scene, but, um, 
I feel like knowing that, knowing what you have to work with, I, I don't think Luke Skywalker should have died in this movie. If you're going to have him die, have him die in the next movie. Even people I know who like this movie, they're confused as to why he died. I'm not convinced that he had to die after what he did. You can argue for it, you can argue against it, but I just feel like to use him up now, um, that really puts you in a pickle for the next movie. If he's just going to be a force right. ghost, you could have him be alive and do whatever he's going to do. Let's talk, well, let's, that's, a good, that's a good point. Let's talk about that scene in particular. So everybody wanted it, Luke's big moment. Right, so everybody wanted it. I, I mean, and and I did too. He did. I know we talked about <laughs> it. Everybody wanted to see that big, gigantic moment that Luke Skywalker ends up having. Now, Luke's gone on. He's the most powerful Jedi in the universe. His father died. Everybody else is gone. So he's it. So everybody wanted to see that big, you know. And and they were talking about this on Kevin Smith's thing too. Is about how they could have just done that a little bit differently. So instead of him projecting himself there, he's actually there. He walks out. He gets bombarded by all these walkers. And instead of, of now obviously, any normal human being is going to die from all laser blasts from all those ships. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, but why, not, why not just pull the Neo out of the Matrix, put his hand yeah, there, and, and block it literally and just stop like, all, all, of the, all of the laser like, blasts from the... How yeah. cool would it go from bitter Luke, all right, I'm going to get off my ass, now let's raise Luke to finally seeing what he can yeah. do. All right, there's the next one, right? He stops all the laser blasts right they're all shitting their pants in their little tanks their walkers yeah. now what's the next move he goes like this he, crushed. he just starts pulling them right down onto the floor and just oh. breaks all their yeah. legs off the thing how epic would that be yeah. it still shows how powerful he right. is he could still go like this so right. he still yeah. could have that but, yeah. you need, but you need that skywalker moment like you need to show like how big did he actually become like maybe that's too much of asking for a fan, but I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility. And then if you need to kill him, then kill him in a fight there. Right. If, if he, and Kylo obviously, obviously Kylo, Kylo. Kylo's pretty powerful. Kylo can stop laser blasts in midair. So Kylo's pretty powerful. Mm -hmm. Kylo's a lot younger than he is too. So you get, almost you get that Obi-Wan Vader moment, and he, you get a little bit of a battle there, and maybe Kylo kills him. If you have to have him die, and then somebody, they're kind of joking about it, they're saying, well... He, he had to die in a place where he could look out and see twin sons because they bring oh. back the original Star Wars. And then Kevin's just like, well, put twin sons on crate yeah. then. Who the hell cares? There's, there's twin sons everywhere in the galaxy, so just put twin sons on crate and have them die there. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's certainly a, that and the Canto Bite scene was another one that I, I I get where they had to have it in the story. I get the whole thing. I found it to be too political. I didn't even. And think I found it, it to, be to be too. I thought it was the most useless part of it. Oh, it just, yeah. it, to, to me, it, it, I well, I get, I get zero. the I get the part where they had to kind of further the story along with with they had with to do something, do something with, with Finn and do but, something, but uh, but I I don't know. I just didn't see now now again. They brought this up in that podcast too. They said. You want to make that scene hundred percent better? Make make the guy they're going to see this code breaker. Build make him Lando. That would have been Lando expected. freaking yeah. Calrissian. So that's yeah. what I expected. That was great. <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong. I, I loved Belicio in the <laughs> film. Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't even think he was that. Well, well I think that I didn't really, really do much. Yeah, he yeah, stuttered a lot. He stuttered an awful lot. He was an odd take, but I really enjoyed his performance. I thought the character was just fine. I thought they should have just like, have Lando be the guy with the lapel. That, yeah. the gaming you didn't even have to have them go with Lando. Have just have Lando be the guy there. Like, oh, who's that? And they'd be like, oh, just some bums getting thrown <laughs> yeah, out of the club, was, right? Yeah, and, and, and even with the way the camera like kind of stops on the guy with the lapel, I'm like, I don't even know who he is. It, like, does, yeah. Yeah. it makes it them totally irrelevant. Yeah. 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 He looked like a James Bond character. Yeah, but yeah. no, um, but, but no, I, th I think you mentioned that before. That movie, James Bondy. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think you mentioned before when talking about the DC movies. Like, if you're, you know, if you're getting bored during them or you want to fast forward during them, I felt like fast forwarding through the whole Canto Bite stuff. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, for for Finn and um, for for Finn and Rose, Rose's storyline, yeah. I love Finn. I really do, and I like I like Rose as a character. But right. I just wasn't interested in their plot. I kept wanting to get back to the yeah, Kylo the Ren, Ray, and Luke stuff. It, it was definitely the side story in there that kind of took you out of the picture. Yeah, yeah. it and just yeah, it didn't have it didn't go where you needed to be. They were out somewhere doing something else just so they could come back, and it irrelevantly never mattered anyway. Mm -hmm. What what it's really going to affect is the the fact that right away Kathy Kennedy handed the next trilogy to Ron Johnson. <laughs> That's gonna. That's I mean, I don't even know now. where they're gonna go with that now because no. she she really committed to him, and now you see this, and now 
you're gonna, I don't know, fans are going to come out to want to see that one. Contracts after, after, change after all the time. Stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, who knows? You, you never know. I mean, and maybe he'll come up with a great story for the next one. He, he, I mean, who knows? <laughs> but it's going to be, it's going to be a hard sell. It's going to be a hard sell for her to do that. So, so much for making our Star Wars quick. Yeah. Well, that, well, that I was. That, I think that got summed up pretty quick. Time? Oh, we're well past 25 minutes. Yeah. 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 We'll yeah. wrap up our movie. 25? Yeah, I figured. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. So let's wrap up the We'll wrap up okay. our movie talk for 2017. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. And uh, we will come back uh, and we'll start hitting on TVs and stuff. We'll hit on TVs and we'll, we we won't take as much time with that, I promise. So, yeah, we'll hit on that when we come back. There might be more porks, though. <laughs> there should always be when we return the greater consortium's pork cast pork cast that's been that's been point right now pork cast thanks guys uh, <laughs>